Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia Broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The 35th number of Western Armenian weekly magazine has been published. Terrorists which trained in Turkey participated in the invention of Artsakh, Paul Antonopoulos. Baku presented the map of our country with the invented names in Festival of Nakhiv Jevan in Armenia. Amnesty International demands guarantees from Baku ahead of COP29. Aram Khachatjan in Uruguay. A concert was held at Solist Theatre dedicated to the composer's 120th anniversary. Let's support the television of Western Armenia. On 5 July, the speech of Armen Rizagan, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, took place. She referred to the important events of the week. In her speech, she referred to the speech of President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, in which the President recalled their speeches last year at the UN meetings on genetic resources and traditional knowledge, during which they once again drew the world's attention to the genocide. The President has announced that they will attend the two meetings this year to be held at the United Nations to present the position of the Republic of Western Armenia. Then the speaker referred to the speech of Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President mentioned the works carried out on the agreement related to genetic resources and traditional knowledge. Particularly, he mentioned, we worked in detail on every article of that treaty to be able to restore our rights to our genetic resources and traditional knowledge. The speaker also noted that the chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Harutunyan, informed that the presidency of the National Assembly had their position on the above-mentioned contract, which will be presented in detail during the next sessions. The Western Armenia weekly newspaper of the 45 issue has been published. On the cover of the new issue is the photo dedicated to the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus. On that occasion, the Republic of Western Armenia invited everyone to a Zoom meeting, where the general speaker of the meeting was President Mr. Armena Gabrahamian. The speeches of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, are presented in the weekly newspaper. In the 45 number of the newspaper, you can learn also about the regular sessions of the National Assembly and the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, the speech of the Speaker of the Government, the life story of the national hero Leonidas Galdian about Getashen, which has a rich and glorious historical past, as well as other cultural and social issues. Armenian, English, French, and Turkish versions of the weekly newspaper in PDF format you can download below. Within the framework of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the leaders of Turkey, Pakistan, and Baku met in Astana. Paul Antonopoulos, head of the Greek City Times Bureau, wrote about it on social networks. Erdogan said that their meeting takes place at the time when wars are raging in the region, conflicts and tensions, and that their tripartite meeting will simultaneously contribute to regional and comprehensive peace. According to Antonopoulos, the irony is that Pakistan is the terrorist capital of the world, while in recent years Syrian terrorists have been sent to Artsakh, which were trained in Turkey, to serve for Baku's invasion on historical Armenian land Artsakh. Recently, Baku has launched a targeted campaign against the sovereign territory of Eastern Armenia and is trying to legitimize territorial aspirations, giving a direct to the process of appropriating Armenian cultural heritage with various cultural events, targeting intangible heritage. One such event was the Anthographic Festival Convention held in Armenia Nakhijevan the other day, which was entitled Return to Western Azerbaijan. According to the organizers, the main goal of the event is to support the policy of the country's president, Ilham Aliyev, to restore the historical rights of citizens who left their homeland. The map of Eastern Armenia with invented names of cities and villages was presented with various photographs and decorative art objects presented within the framework of the festival. A variety of Armenian dishes under the name Erevar cuisine, referring not to Eastern Armenia but of course to Baku. Another such festival was held in November 2023, bearing the same title. Amnesty International issued a statement ahead of the COP29 to be held in Baku in November and urged that the memorandum to be signed with the host country and the United Nations contain guarantees that all human rights will be protected and respected, both inside and outside the venue. 
This is particularly important as the authorities in Baku regularly have stepped up their crackdown on dissent, arresting journalists, human rights defenders, and climate rights activities, was said in the statement. The organization urged the release of all persons unjustly detained by the Baku authorities. The statement said that the given reality of the gross human rights violations committed by the government in Baku, it is vital that the concluded host country agreement be made public immediately after signing so that it is possible to study and assess how well the public space of COP29 is protected. A concert dedicated to Aram Khachatryan's 120th anniversary of the world-famous Armenian composer. It was held in Solis Theatre, the most prestigious concert hall in Uruguay. This is reported from Aram Khachatryan's House Museum. He also presented an exhibition of photographs of Aram Khachatryan visit to Uruguay in 1957 at the Solid Theatre. Aram Khachatryan's famous piano concert was presented. During the evening, the Philharmonic Orchestra of Montevideo performed other famous works of Aram Khachatryan, including Masquerades, Waltz, Zengozur March, excerpts from the Guyana Belt, etc. National television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion, it merely broadcasts political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as topics that raise various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.